ago we got an a exciting message from the manufacturedhomes.com um, that our class was invited to the Manufactured Home Show in Louisville, Kentucky to go and check out uh, what all the industry is involved in right now and let the students tour several different finished manufactured homes and see what the finished product's going to look like. Yeah, the kids are always excited to get out of school and go on a field trip. So, uh, yeah, they are excited to go to the go to the show and just see all the all the different houses and uh, see what everybody has to offer. Hey guys, welcome to the Louisville Home Show 2024 edition. You're going to get a real treat today. We're going to walk you through a couple of homes so you can see what the final product that comes out of a factory, of a, of a manufactured housing factory looks like when we get to it. You want to go look at homes? Yeah. All right, let's go look at some homes. All right guys, the first house we're going to take a look at is from Cavco. And I want you guys to take a look at this home because a lot of people think about, when they think about the exteriors of, of manufactured homes, they think siding, right? This house will show you there's a lot of different options you can do. If you take a look at this, it's all hardy board on the side for the outside paneling. Uh, let's go in and take a look at, the, look at it. You're gonna, you're gonna love this house, come on in. So, Conquer, Indiana, we're out of northern Indiana, Goshen, uh, about 30 minutes uh, south of Michigan. So, this is our Millennium Series. We introduced it in July, I believe. So, new floor plan. Hope you guys like it. It's got, it's got a bunch of new features that, uh, that we just kind of introduced this year. So, let's walk through it and uh, see what it's got. So our standard window is a 0.25 with a G9 glazing. That's the highest amount of glazing that you can get. If you look out our windows and if you look through our houses versus some of the other houses, if you look out ours, you can see they're kind of tinted a little bit. That's because of the G9 glazing. So what that does is it allows you to retain your cool in the summer, allows you to retain your heat in the winter a lot better. So we, you're building one. Have you built? Have you completed one, or is it the nope, first, first one? one? First one. First yep. one. How far along are we? Uh, we just got through all the roof decking on last week. So, okay. moving up to the shingles and plumbing and drywall. And this is the crew that's doing it all, huh? Uh, yeah, there's about 22 more, but. All right. Yeah. Union shop down there. No, there? no. <laughs> <laughs> Nice homes. So yeah, Friday, we actually got released from school early. Um, so that kind of threw a wrench in the day. There was high winds, so we worried about the buses being, being out in the high winds. And then Monday was actually a scheduled makeup day, so we were off school for that. And then Tuesday, we had a snow day. And then today, which is Wednesday, we're, we're planning on coming here regardless, but our school's called off again because of the cold weather. Um, we had mechanical issues on the buses. We reached out to the students last night and sent out an invite even though we weren't in school. And uh, yeah, we had these students come on their own time. And one student actually took off work to come here today. Let's head on over to look at another home. It's pretty cool. I like to see all the different homes. I really like the second house that we viewed the most. It feels good to see that that the house that we're building is getting close to being to looking like the houses that are already done that are here. This is Amy Hacker from oh, yeah. London, Kentucky. She is with the Kentucky Manufactured Housing Institute, one of the associations you're going to be meeting in a bit. She is the director of real estate for Clayton Homes. Is that pretty Great. close? Yep. Okay. I'm the president of real estate and acquisitions. Yep. Yeah. So take a look. You'll love the bathroom. The bathroom is probably the best part. So. Oh, yeah, it's very cool. yeah. Yeah, it's The bathroom's good. stunning in this house. It, 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 don't laugh. You, you know what? You know when you go I'll to the house. I'll ask you when you come out. Well, you know, your favorite part. Well, I bet you're going to say it was the bathroom.
Well, I think the show's really interesting. It, I really enjoy looking at the houses, the inside, the interiors. My favorite house was the last one we went into. I really liked, I liked the way the living room was set up, the kitchen, the modern style of it. As Amy said, there are things you're going to, that, you, that are going to love about this house. I want you to lead them back to the bathroom. You questioned it so much. Go back and go, everybody go back and take a look at the bathroom. Michael, what do you think? It's a nice bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you, are you admitting up now that, that people would come out and go, wow, I like this bathroom? Yes. Okay, okay. I tell you what, it is really cool to see the students walk through the house and take a look at what they're doing versus what is done out of a factory from a, from a company. And they're learning so much today by getting really a good look at what the, the home looks like when it's done. Well, I'm my future, I'm going to do interior designing. So I feel like looking at all the different designs inside is really helpful for me. They're pretty nice. I, I like the first and last one. They, they were the bigger ones, obviously. I like them more. I like the first house, the Commodore home, the roof line, the style of that, and then the third house we tour. But probably the, my favorite is probably the, the black Commodore home. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for the kids and even uh, myself and the other teacher, Mike, to see the different styles of homes, different finishes. Um, yeah, it's been great. We've actually come up with a few ideas for next year's house already. The, the first house that we went to, the Cavco, uh, had two different uh, roof pitches that uh, uh, didn't come to a peak and we kind of like that idea. We think that might be kind of something easy we could, or easier that we could do in, uh, in our shop. So uh, getting a lot of good ideas. Nice. Oh, oh, wow. So what, what I do is I go out and I look at the homes, I appraise the homes. We look at uh, consumers looking to purchase the homes. These are all things that probably you're not getting in school, but budgeting obviously is a, a key factor to being able to buy a home. So you've got to be able to save money. It's never about how much you make, it's always about how much you can save. The reaction is always exactly the same. They walk into these homes and they go, I had no idea how beautiful these things are, how well crafted they are. They, they, they had no idea what it was. We, we change a lot of consumers' minds by doing that very thing. So what you guys are doing is awesome. There's not enough people doing it. Um, you know, it's uh, not just a, a, a good career option, it's a really good living. It's been a good day, but it's time to get back to school and get to work and get our house completed.